Ah, Sabez Akil comes out. And you know with the big hitting Belgians that anyone can hit their first ball for six. And Sabez Akil certainly can. 57 for two at the end of the fourth. Fine just falling into that. Down the ground from Zakiel, it's another six for him. He's already hit two and he's only faced three balls. That's T10 cricket for you folks. Down the ground though, it doesn't matter where the fielders are for a hit like that. That's gone miles over the boundary from Sabez Zakiel. He hit six sixes to take Belgium to victory against Spain way back on Monday morning. And he's already halfway there now, that's his third. Hennessy back on and his first ball has been hit way over our commentary position. That is a massive, massive six. One of the biggest ones we've seen at this entire tournament so far. A horrible delivery and it got the treatment it deserved. Slow ball down the ground. Well, umpire Shub doesn't have to worry about getting in the way of that one. That is a huge maximum. You know what you're going to get from Belgium. They'll keep losing wickets, but by George, they'll keep hitting. Good to take evasive action. Oh, and Zakiel goes again. Paul Hennessy. Well, Hyder this time from the first ball. The new over has been hit by Zakiel. Anybody bowling to Sabez, Zakiel's disappearing at the moment. He's not hit a four in this innings, but why do you need to hit fours when you can hit sixes? That is his seventh six, including seven earlier on in this game. Yeah! And now he's contributing with the ball as well, but he's gone for nine. Well, that is another big breakthrough for the Belgians. Skyed up. Chance. And out. Another one gone, and that is the really important one. The top run scorer for Spain in this tournament so far. A man who can score them very quickly as well. 72 for five at the end of the seventh. Out. Well, Belgium, a ceiling victory in style, it looks like now. Sabi Zakil picks up another wicket. And Spain on 97 for six. It's the end of Sulkanein Haider.